its tetravalency by bonding to oxygen and um, it has also it is also it has also bonded to three ch3 groups so uh, the, the this ch3 as i said all these ch3 atoms are attached to the same carbon atom so they all contribute to the same chemical environment giving one singlet peak and the singlet peak will be integrated to 9 because um, 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9 so total 9 carb 9 hydrogen atoms are contributing to this peak so this peak will have a height of say this and this singlet peak uh, which is because of the OH group is will have a height of this maybe even longer yeah so this will be the difference in heights and it's because nine hydrogen atoms one hydrogen atom nine is to one the ratio okay so here we have the benzene ring so um, when you look at this molecule, what do you see? You see six hydrogen atoms, all attached to different carbon atoms. One hydrogen attached to one carbon each. So how many peaks do you think this will contribute to? Now you can, now you can just see that all these carbon atoms have a single bond and a double bond. Though uh, this is incorrect in benzene chemistry because we will be learning that when I post a video about benzene and its compounds, we will learn why this is an, inco in, in, an incorrect structure of benzene. But for the time being, let's assume this is correct and uh, let's see what, what the number of peaks will be. So if you notice, each carbon atom has a single bond attached to another carbon atom and a double bond attached to another car uh, carbon atom. So here the single bond is here and double bond is here. Here the single bond is here and double bond is here and you can see this pattern repeats until we complete the cycle. So technically all these carbon atoms are the same chemical environment. So all these hydrogen atoms have the same chemical environment. All these hydrogen atoms have the same chemical environment because these all these carbons are technically the same. So we will have another Again, we will have one singlet. <coughs> you can see the chemical shift in the data booklet for the benzene molecule. It will be there. We will have one singlet peak integrated to six because six hydrogen atoms are carrying this. And there will be no splitting because these are the same hydrogen atoms, same uh, proton environments. So no splitting because of the, because of the neighbors. A few more examples and then we'll move forward. Okay, so here we have the same benzene ring, but we have replaced an H atom with an OH group. So this molecule is called phenol and uh, we can, so we can just uh, sideline this peak because we know the, that uh, this will uh, result in one singlet peak. So this can be our first one and uh, this will give us a singlet peak like this. Now. The thing is that you might say that all these carbon atoms are still the same. So the chemical environments will still be the same. So these five hydrogen atoms will contribute to the same proton environment. Well, that's wrong. Now, let me tell you why. So if you see these two carbon atoms are at the same distance from this one because this is attached to the OH group. So if I divide this molecule symmetrically like this, then now we have symmetry over here because like um, because if we fold this side of the molecule, the right side of the molecule, which is uh, yeah, which is here, the right side of the molecule, if we fold it on top of this side of the molecule, then we get the same thing. So this molecule is symmetrical. So we will see that th these two carbon atoms are at the same distance from this carbon atom. These two carbon atoms are at the same distance from this carbon atom and this carbon atom is at a completely different distance from this carbon atom so what we can see, see well, what we can see here is that these two environments are the same because they are the same distance from this carbon atom so we can mark this environment as environment 2 